writers and how are you getting on in Camp NaNoWriMo? We are almost at the end of the third week of this very special month which is about looking at a writing project, maybe shaping it or creating a direction for it in preparation potentially of the month of November when you might seek to start from the plans that you create this month and push everything forward to create a 50,000 word completed novel. On the other hand, you might, like me, be working on an existing story and trying to strengthen it and add depth to the characters. I've been working on dialogue and characters very much so the last couple of weeks. My first week of Camp NaNoWriMo was pretty much a washout because I just had other things that needed my attention. And I've also been busy creating some Skillshare classes one on how to create a good morning routine for productivity generally, not, not specifically about writing. That's been about general productivity and creating a system that works for you to start an hour earlier every day and to get more productivity and accomplishment from that extra hour, effectively creating for yourself an extra 30 hours a month. Every other day for the second and the third week, I've been working on my manuscript only for an hour or two on each occasion. Today I was able to go to my local print shop and get a copy of the documents that I've been working on. It was great to go from the print shop a few hundred yards down the street and to sit down in a familiar coffee shop and just do a pen and ink edit of a lot of the work that I have come up with. So I literally am taking a document, going through it and making all sorts of very simple amendments, margin notes, areas where I need to do some more research and getting that prepared for another session, probably in two or three days time, where I will work through that manuscript for a couple of days and put all the ink amendments into the next version or the second draft of the document. But I feel like I've made a lot of progress. It was good to see what the manuscript looks like at the moment and to take that time in a, in a place that I really enjoy. It felt really good to grab a pen, sit in the coffee shop and work through the manuscript and bring more colour to it. I've struggled with part of, not the actual final ending, but a couple of scenes before the finale where I want to make sure that the reader understands who has done what and what their motivations were. I think I've explained that fairly well during the development of the story, but there's a couple of twists that I added over the last week. And from my review today, that feels a lot better. My preferred approach to finishing a manuscript is to get each chapter written as quickly as possible and then to print out the main document and to work through it on a pen and paper edit. And for me, that's not only very satisfying, but it seems that things will jump out of the page for me that isn't the same when I look purely at the digital screen in front of me on my laptop. So the pen and paper edit for me is effective as well as being something I really enjoy. And it's always a pleasure to go to a coffee shop and do edit work in an environment where, for me, the background chatter and the music serves as a really helpful white noise that allows me just to concentrate on the, the work of the pen and paper edit as I go through it. I hope you've been making good progress. We still have more than a week to go. And I think it's really important to use the next 10 or 11 days and push things forward in a way that you are happy with, proud of, and also that you're pleased with the way in which your manuscript is developing. It doesn't matter if you're writing, in this case for me, a novel, or you're working on some non-fiction, maybe some poetry, some memoir, or a series of flash fiction and a collection of short stories. The idea of the month of July as Camp NaNoWriMo is that it's a, a place for you to develop and strengthen an existing writing project. It's not about creating a huge amount of output in one specific project, which is really the focus of 
November, which is National Novel Writing Month, as an of its own activity. No, July is about taking what you're working on, feeling better about it, and knowing that at the end of the month you have worked on something which is important to you and which you feel good about. So my recommendation over the next 10 days, purely as a normal non-fiction writer myself, but for this project, a fiction storyteller, is to work on the project that inspires you. Go in the direction that you are drawn to over the course of the next 10 days and best of luck with your writing accomplishment. Whatever you're doing over the next 10 days in Camp NaNoWriMo, I wish you every success and just enjoy the journey. Let us know how you get on and I will try and get another video out at the end of week four. Until then, happy writing.